In today's video, we're rigging the winnow on the Owner Ultra Head Weedless Finesse. Let's go. If this is your first time on the channel, my name's Chris. This is Life Pollock's Fishing, and I'll be bringing you the best that the Northeast has to offer as far as fishing goes. If you find value in that type of content, please consider subscribing. The next part in this how to rig the winnow series, I found the owner ultra head finesse weedless hooks. Now I have used some like this before. I have not used these styles by owner. I have used the rugby by VMC, but as an extra bonus treat, I got the clips today. Now this one is a gorgeous color and seeing it like this is only half of it. All right, check out this UV footage. See, it's just intense. Now, extra added bonus, I'm down here. I actually got out today. I'm able to fish this. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you exactly how to rig it on here. And then we're gonna fish it, see what we can do with it. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how it looks in the water. Let's show you how to rig it first. All right, so we got our hook. Now, let's go ahead and rig it up. Now, as add bonus, you know, as I said, we're going to be using the Eclipse today, which will just do dynamite down here at the river. So, go ahead and rig it, except this time, we're not going fully through the nose to the back of the head. What we're doing is we're going halfway through the nose. So, you go ahead, dead center, pinch that nose really tight, and then come through. Like I said, halfway, halfway through, just like that. Bring it all the way up. And the reason you're only doing halfway is because you're gonna be butting that right up against the weight. And you're not gonna be able to see, as you see, that's where the actual bottom of the head comes out. Halfway is perfect. Now go ahead and put it onto the side and then pinch right there remember there's that nice slit right there as you can see the nice slit that's where you're supposed to put the hook bring it right through dead center and there you go perfecto as you see it's nice the hook is perfectly tucked in because it's nice and finesse it keeps that really nice profile so the rest of the body is you know, free to get all those movements. As you see all these ribs, the reason why these ribs are like this and it was designed this way is because it adds extra vibration as it comes through the water along with different frequencies that just drive the bass crazy and just make them, you know, have to eat it. Now as a extra tip, you, I'm not doing it because until my pre-order comes in, which speaking of which, if you guys did not know, pre-order for public is available. Right now, nicodadsfishing.com. It will be in the description below. You can go over and pre-order these right now. So that way, as soon as they hit the United States, they're coming right to you. And you could be one of the first to have this just, it really is, Nico stands by it, next generation bait. Now let's tie on and see what it looks like out in the water. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do a standard Palomar knot for this. Now, as I was saying just before I got all excited about the pre-order, the extra tip that I have for you, I'm not doing it. Like I said, this is my only Eclipse, which I actually had to borrow off of Mr. Douglas Roberts from Fish NFX, which uh, his channel will be linked up here in the scorecard if you want to go over and check his channel out. This is his. He was kind enough to let me use it for today's video, so that way you guys have seen every color that the winnow will be offered in and available for pre-order right now. So standard Palomar, go ahead. Make sure you always, always moisten the line. You have to get it wet, more so for braid and fluoro, so it doesn't get that friction burn. But I'm superstitious and do it with just everything just to be on the safe side, make the one less factor in the long run. Now let's see how this fishes. All right, that's how it is. Now let's uh, let's fish it. Again, like I said, I'm down here at 
Susquehanna River, you know, my home river. Haven't been able to get out. As you see, it's a lot higher than what it's been. And right now on this, I have mono. But as you see, we're lucky to not have to worry about ice at the moment, but this is legitimately the only place that is not currently iced up. Now, for winter fishing, if you're using one of these for winter, really slow, as you see, I'm not even, I'm just bouncing it and letting the current take it a bit, slowly rolling it in. Well, I don't really have much luck, but I want you guys to see just how amazing this looks underwater. So I'm going to grab the camera, throw it in. This water's probably freezing, so I'm not going to be able to get too much of it, but I think you will be impressed nonetheless from the footage I can get. Let's see what we can do. rigging the Eclipse Winnow on the Owner Ultra Finesse Weedless Jig. Now, I it, it looks fantastic in the water, as you guys saw, and I am very impressed with this. Cannot wait. This is going to be killer, killer in the spring once this warm weather starts hitting back. Right now, river, these bass, especially smallmouth, they're, they're just feisty, stubborn fish. And, you know, I'm going to be switching over. I'm about to go and use the Milky Way one on a VMC. And if you want to see that video, it'll be up here in the scorecard. It'll be ready to go next uh, next video, which will be out tomorrow. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did like this video, please smash that like button. And if you found value from this, please hit that subscribe button with a little bell next to it. That way you're notified when the next videos come out. And in the comment section below, let me know if there's a rigging tip that I have not done yet that you would like to see. If there is, I will definitely get that video out to you ASAP and make sure that you know exactly how to rig these up your favorite way for when the warm weather spring hits and we all get our pre-orders, you're set up and ready to go. Thanks again, guys. Tight lines as always, and I'll see you in the next video.